cadeau voor Pelé. Onnavolgbaar. Hans Klop stond in Monaco, in Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, maar ook gewoon in Duinrel en de Efteling. Misschien lukt het hem wel om Salomon Kalou in Oranje te toveren. Eigenlijk wilden ze David Copperfield, maar men vond toch dat het een Europeaan moest zijn. En hij wordt gezien als de beste in Europa. Schotten van het wereldkampioenschap in Duitsland, Goleo. Hans. Hallo Hans. Hallo Leipzig. Hallo Deutschland. Schön, dass ihr da seid. Hallo Welt. Schön, dass ihr da seid. In 1966 was de eerste mascotte daar. World Cup. Willy in Engeland. <laughs> Meine Damen und Herren. <laughs> I found out actually on the age of 10, then I really discovered that I wanted to become an illusionist. And I also realized that I had to become first a magician, first to learn the basics. And um, I was so fascinate, fascinated by magic and magicians all around me. I've seen uh, David Copperfield at the age of 10 years old, and it, this was just his first um, big TV performances. And he really inspired me, and not only he, he but also Secret and Roy. There are a few uh, things in nature which are not possible. It's not possible to fly, it's not possible to become invisible, it's not possible to take your head off and put it back and you just walk away with it. So actually on all these kind of themes uh, you can go on and on and on to find new ways. So um, it's hard, it's actually difficult. Like now I have an illusion that a girl steps out of my body without any, but I'm not standing in the box, she just came out of my body. This is really a new illusion, this is something with, that we didn't have before. No, they have no clue actually. Only the three girls, they know what they're doing. And, uh, but we never talk over it in public, you know, we have a kind of code for this. And the dancers, they have actually no clue. They, they, of course they see something, things, but they never should say it. And they all sign the contract that for the rest of their life, they, they, they never should talk about anything. The simply tricks, maybe that's, they look simply for far, but the cards are very difficult as well. But it's a totally different technique that are just your hands. And the big illusion is that it's something between me and the person I do the illusion with and the, the fastness and everything and the whole presentation. As an illusionist, the presentation is very important because I have to let you believe that I'm a real magician, that I'm a real wizard. What we do, it's on the edge, you know. There are some even illusions that are discovered and, and, and improved by Houdini that we still do, actually not in this show anymore, but in the past I did these illusions and then even, even um, uh, other magicians and illusionists, they asked me how I did it and I say it's just a matter of rehearsing and do it so really on the edge. That's the big difference between me and the other magicians. That, that's the big gap, that they don't never would take this risk.
It's an, 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 a tribute to my father, so we're going back in time. And I, I, I love to tell this story because people often ask me, actually that's the question every journalist asks, how did you start it? So I think they might be interested in the story, how I ever started, and the story is just a small story in show. Don't, worry, the, 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 don't be afraid that it will be very boring. It's just fragments that you see the little boy practicing in front of the mirror, and from there the show co continues. And uh, I really, uh, I think it's a big plus to the show. We always have big jokes uh, against each other about football, <laughs> but um, I'm, I always feel very welcome. I did the FIFA, the, uh, the, the World uh, Football Championship, and I was very proud that the German asked me to do that as, as, as somebody from another country. You know, you, you could imagine they will chosen for somebody from their own country.